Chaser not only creates simple flashes and bumps, it also makes creating custom content for a mapping show ridiculously easy. In this example of a mapping project on a stylized sun shape, Chaser was used to mask and position stock content. No custom renders were made, no masks were used. All you need is Chaser and the loops you already have. The most important thing is to create a solid input mapping. An input map is a representation in Resolume of what your stage or object looks like in real life. In this case, it means a perfectly centered octagon surrounded by eight perfect triangles. So make sure you are working on the input selection tab and then recreate your object. We start by making a simple triangle polygon and then we make copies of that, each time offsetting the rotation by 45 degrees. Take the time to zoom in and be precise with this. The better the input mapping resembles your actual object, the better the final result will be. Finish off the object by using the poly pen tool to create your inner octagon. The pen tool doesn't snap when drawing, so give it a once over to make sure all the corners line up. Now select all the shapes and make sure they fill the entire stage and are exactly centered. The great thing about the new poly slices in Resolume is that once you've made your input map, the output map is already made as well. Now take a moment to rename the slices and then save your setup. Now open the Chaser app and choose File, New, to create a new Chaser document. Chaser will detect which arena file you were just working on, so hit OK to load it. The first sequence you make will be the Look sequence. We use the steps of this sequence as a really quick way to position content. Create one step where all the slices are on, one step for just the center, and one step for the ring. We only need three steps in this example, so you can shorten the sequence. The other sequences will be used for animations. You can create as many as 16 different sequences, but for this example, we'll only create a simple clockwise bump, and a simple two-step blink. Back in Resolume, apply the chaser effect on the first layer. You can already see that Chaser duplicates the content exactly within each slice. In this case, we don't want to duplicate, so change the scaling slider to full screen. Now we can play any content in this layer, masked exactly to fit within the sun shape. On the second layer, we use a Chaser effect again, but this time we set the step to one third of the slider, which is exactly where the second step is. This way, content in this layer plays only in the center octagon. The third layer is used just for the ring. We set the step value to two thirds, which is where the third step is, and Chaser will rotate and mask the content to fit exactly in the triangles. Of course, this looks best with triangular content, but you can play whatever you like in it. 
Layer 4 will have a simple white solid. Apply the chaser effect and set the sequence to clock, which is the second sequence. Animate the step slider to BPM sync and you'll get a perfect animation on the ring. Again, you can just change the content on the fly to whatever you like. Of course, you can switch sequences on the fly as well. If you don't like what's happening on the rings, change it from a fixed step on the look sequence to an animated blink sequence. Using Chaser has some advantages over using layer to slice routing. The biggest advantage is that all your content is positioned and masked in the composition, and you only have 9 slices to map. This makes the actual part of projection mapping a super simple and fast job. Each slice only needs to be mapped once, and the entire output follows along. Another advantage is that you can use as many layers as you like, or even add them halfway during the show. If you'd use layer to slice routing, your whole mapping would now need to be adjusted because the order of the layers has changed. Also, you can still use all your blending modes, because the compositing happens in the composition, not by placing slices on top of each other. In the end, Chaser is all about working smarter, not harder. More info and download on chaser.hybridvisuals.nl